Hey, what's happening, everybody? How you doing? Yours truly, comedian Mike Marino, live from my mother's basement. Tonight's episode is the first episode that I'm doing from my place here in Los Angeles, California, which is what they call the NoHo Arts District. I am in the NoHo Arts District. When I first moved to this neighborhood, it was very easy to get a place. There was really nice people around in the area. Now it is overwhelmingly jam-packed with people from all around the fucking world. Buildings going up left and right. You walk down the street. You can't. It, people look at you like you're out of your mind. It's just ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. Why such an influx of so many people in this area? I guess everybody wants to come out here and become a movie star. So, hey, what it is, it is what it is. But thank you so much, everybody, for writing in and tuning in to tonight's show. So far, I already see one of my favorite people in the whole world writing into the show. And tonight's show is also sponsored by this guy's great, great Italian restaurant in uh, Lakewood, California. So, Robert Quartro, I hope you're doing great. I miss you and your family. I wish you guys could have came to the Laugh Factory last time I was performing down there last week in Long Beach, California. But, folks, since you just started tuning into the show right now, especially my friends, here in Los Angeles and, of course, around the world and in New York, New Jersey. I miss you guys a lot. Whenever I come to California, I'm humbled and happy because when I go down to perform at the Laugh Factory in Long Beach, I make sure I get myself a nice sandwich, sandwich, a nice meatball motherfucking sandwich that I know where to go to get it, and I'm telling you where to go to. Ladies and gentlemen, Foggia Italian Market in Delhi in Lakewood, California. They're on Del Amo Boulevard. Listen, if you're watching, seriously, folks, I mean serious, in all seriousness, because whenever us East Coast people come to California, we make fun of the food. We say we can't get what we want. We can't get that uh, uh, abundance of food that we get for a small amount of money like we do in New York and New Jersey, Chicago, Boston, Philadelphia. You wonder what are you going to do? You come to California, you go to Beverly Hills, and you get this shitty ass food. You pay a hundred dollars for a plate of fucking spaghetti. You ought to throw at the guy who works there. But now I'm telling you, if you're in the L.A. area, you go down to Long Beach to watch me. I will get you free tickets to come and see me at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood and the Laugh Factory in Long Beach, guaranteed. And you come with me to Foggia Italian Market in Delhi, five five two two. Del Amo Boulevard in Lakewood, California. This place is the best Italian deli in miles. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. They even have a sandwich down there named after me, which is my favorite sandwich, a meatball sub sandwich. You go down there, you order the Mike Marino sub sandwich. Watch what happens. And uh, you can call them 562-627-0987. Once again, the phone number. Don't forget, call up. Ask for Robert. Ask for his wife. Ask for his family. Ask for the people who work in there. And just say, hey, I need to get the Mike Marino sandwich. I think he delivers. They cater weddings, parties, you name it. They do it. Call them up. That's Foggia Italian Market in Delhi. Taste of Italy, ladies and gentlemen. Taste of Italy or New York or New Jersey, as far as I'm concerned. You go down there, 5522 Del Amo Boulevard in Lakewood, California. Look them up on the internet at www.fogiadeli.com. Tell them Mike Marino sent you. Okay. So I hope everybody's doing good. I'm sorry I haven't been on the, on the internet in quite some time. We've got some great shout-outs from friends already from around the world. I'm in Los Angeles right now. Thank you so much. It's one of my dear friends in the, uh, the northern region of Buffalo. What do they call that? Oh, yeah, Canada. On the other side of Buffalo, New York, Canada, Niagara Falls, Canada, because they got Niagara Falls on both sides. That's where we split it. And my friend Sarah Lynn, she's Italian. She never uses her last name, but she should. She's Italian. She works in a great bar up there. Fantastic girl. Happy New Year, Sarah. Happy New Year, Lauren. Happy New Year, Darlene. Happy New Year, everybody who's writing into the show. I can still say Happy New Year because I haven't done my broadcast live from here in Los Angeles since I got back into town. So I can say that. Happy New Year. And yes, everybody who's writing in, I am definitely running for president in 2020. And we'll talk all about that. Laura, nice to see you. Vincent, nice to see you. Some of my friends in my hometown of Scotch Plains, New Jersey, 
also my friend right into the show right now mr direct very funny entertainer look him up on the internet and carlo thank you so much everybody for writing into the show one of the greatest things about coming to California and finding that there's an Italian deli called Foggia makes me feel at home because on the East Coast, when I want this, I go to Florence Ravioli on Park Avenue and I go see the uh, John's Meat Market to hang out with those guys because I love food. And I'm going to talk to you about what happens when you eat bad food. That's right. The night before New Year's Eve, yours truly got into a little bit of trouble. I had what they call gallstone attack. I had attack of the gallstone bladder, gallbladder, some shit like that. Found myself in the emergency room the day before New Year's Eve. Now I'm thinking, I got a New Year's Eve show. I can't let these people down. They paid a lot of money to see the band, the DJ, the whoop de doos the who's the dump the dump the dump and yours truly crack a couple jokes. So I figured, let me just go into the emergency room, find out if I got a little bit of a sickness. Well... Within a couple of hours of laying in the emergency room, they take out these three things, they stick them in your stomach, and they pull out your gallbladder. I am now a human being living without a gallbladder, which is really kind of funny because the doctor said you don't need it. Ah, you don't need it. He said you might as well get rid of it while you're here. Where else can you go in the world and walk into a place and have somebody say you don't need that part of your body? Take it out, throw it out, go home and be happy. And within two hours, I walked out of the hospital, and I went home. The next day, like an idiot, I got on stage and did my New Year's Eve show. And quite honestly, it's a little painful. It hurt. It hurt very, really a lot, actually. And then I was throwing up. And when I was throwing up, my eyes white turned red because you're, uh, you're blowing up your blood vessels and your eyeballs, and it bursts. I went to go see a specialist, and he said, yeah, don't worry about it. You'll be all right, and, uh, and I'm okay. So here I am in Los Angeles living without a gallbladder, talking about going to get these incredible foods, and uh, I'm hoping I'm going to get some of those incredible foods soon because, quite honestly, I, I'm afraid to eat, but I'm going to, and I'm feeling a lot better now. I lost about six, seven pounds, but I like that, and I'm going to try to lose a little bit more weight, and uh, so – you got to watch your health, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I travel so much. I'm always on a plane. I'm always going somewhere. I find myself eating at 2 o'clock in the morning and going to bed, and I like that. I like to have pizza and coffee in the morning. I'll have a good cup of coffee and a slice of pizza in the morning. It makes me feel good. But at my age, you know, 35, <clears throat> I got to start to be a little bit more careful about what I put in my body. Also, the stress. I hang around with a lot of people in show business. Show business is very stressful. I know we're supposed to be funny. We're supposed to be happy, but it's very, very stressful because you never know where your next job's going to come from. I have a place in New Jersey. I have a place here in Los Angeles. I live on a plane tomorrow going to San Francisco. I fly all the way up to San Francisco. I jump on a cruise ship. The cruise ship goes up to Canada. I turn around from Canada, go all the way back down to Ensenada, which is the, uh, down by San Diego. I turn around to San Diego, go back up to San Francisco, jump on a plane and come all the way back down here. It's out of control, and it can be stressful. Right now, I see my friend Sarah Lynn writing into the show and also Billy Wilkins. Billy, I hope you're still watching. And Laura, I hope you're watching Laura Crop. I hope you're watching the show. I want to share something with you all, which is very, very sad and unfortunate. But not everybody in show business, or not everybody in general, hangs around with the right people. Sometimes when you hang around with the wrong people, they can get you into drugs. They can get you into alcohol. They can get you into situations that put you in prison for long periods of time. I know a couple of girls out here that I'm friends with that had boyfriends that beat the shit out of them. And I'm not even kidding. I mean, beat, broke the arm busted the nose. I come from a family, if I ever had a sister or my nieces got involved with a guy that touched them a lot, a little, one time, one time, this would never go to court. Nobody would ever find out about it. There'd be no lawyer involved. There would be no a judicial system. There would be the family that would step in and beat this person till they couldn't get up. 
Because no guy or no person should be able to hurt another person and say the next day, I'm sorry, baby. I love you so much. I don't know what got into me. Are you out of your fucking mind? The intent that someone would hurt you should be enough for that girl, let's say woman, to get the hell out of that relationship. Run. Run. It's only going to get worse. And I say that because a friend of mine, after this new year just took place, was telling me about this situation. Now, of course, I'll mention no names, but boy, would I like to beat the shit out of this man. Do you understand? And then I have another friend who is wonderful, a wonderful, wonderful artist in show business. She was a singer. She was an actress. Beautiful blonde hair, blue eyes, only 34 years old. She pursued her career as a musician and coming out of the world famous area that launches so many incredible entertainers, Asbury Park, New Jersey, which in Asbury Park, New Jersey right now, they're doing the Light of Day Music Festival, which raises money for Parkinson's disease. And I was so fortunate to be part of it because for a few years in a row, I was the host of some of the awards gala and some of the musicians coming out on stage to perform. Not that I'm a musician, not that I sing, but I got to be part of it. Well, this young lady was part of that. She was out here in California pursuing her career, and her name was Angela, Angelia, Angelia Pele, or Pele, Angelia Pele. And some years ago, I met her on a talk show, the Gary Garver talk show, which is called Controlled Chaos. So we were on the Controlled Chaos show, and we were talking one thing leads to another. We find out we have a lot of friends in common. We've been on the same talk shows. And we both come from the Asbury Park area of New Jersey. And we're both pursuing our careers. And her best friend, Emily Grove, happens to sing with my brother's band, the Paul Marino Band. So it was wonderful to make these connections. And as time would go on, all of us would perform together. And it's joyful. Some people singing, some people cracking jokes, guys like Billy Wilkins playing his guitar. Well, about a week ago, the sad news came through when a friend of mine called me up, fellow comedian, John, said, uh, Mike, are you sitting down? I said, yeah, what's wrong? He said, Angelia Pele has passed away. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's all over the news that she's playing the stone pony in Asbury Park. How can this be? And he said, well, it's believed that she's been hanging around with someone who helped her with the drug heroin, and she overdosed on heroin. Now, that's some bullshit, man. Could you imagine being 34 years old, gorgeous, overwhelmingly talented, and you're about to play the biggest performance place on the Jersey Shore in Asbury Park, the world famous Stone Pony. And she's gone. It's no longer with us. Very, very sad. It's all over the news. And uh, that's it. So one of my messages today is hang around with the right people. There's some good people out there. They're everywhere. Some people will give you... The shirt off their back to make you smile. So start the new year off with your new year's resolution that might say, hang around with the right people and cut the bullshit. People really suck sometimes. And they can fuck shit up. I have a lot of people that I'm going to be cutting out of my life this year. They're not going to know about it, but I'm not returning any phone calls, if you know what I'm talking about. So not only will I cut shitty people out of my life, I cut my gallbladder out of my stomach. It came out of my belly button and it looked like a ravioli. I didn't mean to get so deep right off the bat. I know I'm a comedian. I'm supposed to be making this stuff funny, and I will, I promise you. But ladies and gentlemen, it's a new year. It's 2020. Think about it. I actually made it this far. 2020. I have a lot of shows that I'm doing around the world this year. My garbage is over there. Heh. Anyway. I have a lot of shows that I'm doing this year. 
I'm getting ready to go around the world with my new show, Make America Italian Again Marino 2020. And uh, we'll see if we can't make some people happy wherever I go around the world. So if everybody out there has a New Year's resolution, I know I have a New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution is not to have a New Year's resolution because I'm not going to keep it very, very long. I want to eat what I want to eat. I want to look slim and trim. I want to be happy, and I want to be around people that want to be happy. We already did one show here in North Hollywood last Friday night at the Ha Ha Comedy Club in North Hollywood. It was unbelievable. Sold out show. Everybody's laughing, having fun. Celebrities. There was the drummer from Bad Company. There was this singer icon, Lucia, in the room. It was just Ian Ziering from 90210, who I'm friends with from way back when we used to go on commercial auditions in New York City. He came to the show. Oh, it was so great to see my man, Ian. Right now, some of my friends are writing into the show, like Lori and Sean uh, Kelly. And I want you guys to know, I, um, I had my gallbladder removed. I'm fine. I got on a plane a week later. I made sure my body was okay and I didn't have any heart attacks or uh, blood clots or any of that bullshit while I was on a plane. And everything went really, really good. So watch your health for the new year, folks. Um, February 2nd is my birthday. And uh, I'm hoping I make it to February 2nd. I'm going to have a birthday. I'm actually going to have a birthday show February 7th back at the Ha Ha Comedy Club right here in North Hollywood. And if anybody wants to know when I'm coming into your neighborhood, because I do have a huge 2020 tour already, just go to MikeMarino.net, subscribe to my newsletter, find out when I'm coming into the area. Folks, I give away a lot of products. I have discounts on a lot of products. We have T-shirts, track suits, hoodies. Uh, underwear, socks, you name it. Just go to MikeMarino.net. Subscribe. I can see you subscribe. If you were to subscribe to the show right now, I will see you do it, and I will send a discount to you. Right now, I'm wearing a shirt over here that says Zombie Tronics. I just did the first commercial for this new sponsor for 2020, Zombie Tronics uh, Store.com. Zombie Tronics Store.com. Now, look, we're giving away. Oh, uh, where are they? Oh, uh, shit. Towels. <laughs> but they, if you're spending a lot of money on, let's say, electronics, sometimes the electronics uh, product that you bought is a piece of shit. You got to send it back. Well, they send it to a place that refurbishes it, and that place that refurbishes it sells it again for 60% cheaper than what you originally bought it for. That place is called... Zombietronicsstore.com. Zombietronicsstore.com. Tronics. Am I saying the word right? Tronics.com, right? You can buy it first from them 60% cheaper than you would have if you bought it at a brand new store. You understand what I'm telling you? And if you use a coupon code, Mike Marino 2020, they'll give you an extra 15% off. And that's how we roll. So if you want to do that, Check that out. Also, if you go to my Instagram, which everybody's watching on my Instagram right now, you'll see that I'm actually giving away a zombietronicsstore.com forward slash free cool towel. The free cool towel is this towel that you wet it, you put it in your refrigerator, and when you're ready, you put it around your neck, and you go out and go to work. It cools you off. If you're playing some sports, it cools you off. Whatever it is, you can do it. And uh, I will help you get that. And if you get it from me, I will autograph it and send it to you absolutely free. So go to Instagram, check out what I'm talking about, and we will make that happen for you. I like to give out free stuff. I like to make people happy. I want you to enjoy yourself, all right? So zombietronicsstore.com, zombietronicsstore.com forward slash free cool towel. Make it happen. And don't forget, use the coupon code. Mike Marino, 2020, save yourself some money. This is my cousin in Canada, Gabriel Barato. It's nice to see you, pal. Keep on singing. Keep on rapping. Keeping it real. Nice Italian style. Don't forget, make America Italian again. And Janice Bevlock, it's so nice to see you. How are you, Jade, everybody? Thank you so much for writing into the show this fast. Tom, Dr. Tom, I actually need to come and get my teeth cleaned. I'm going to make that appointment tomorrow. 
you want to see a dentist, there's a guy who's writing into the show right now. Most incredible dentist, nicest guy, comes all to my shows, doesn't rip you off. This is when you go to see the dentist and you need your teeth cleaned and another dentist says you need 10 root canals. There's the bullshit right there. This guy will never mislead you. You go see him, all right? He is in a great area in New Jersey. I fly from California to New Jersey and then drive another hour and a half just to go see Dr. Tom Breathapt. I hope I'm saying his last name right. I mean, it's really crazy. But if you look him right here on Facebook, you could see a Tom Breathapt. He's coming to my show on February 15. February 15, of course, is the night after Valentine's Day. And I'm doing a Valentine's Day show with my friend Gary Pastore. We just got done doing a TV series called Silent Partners. And also uh, John Bramnick. We also have a female comedian who's going to be in the show that night. Um... Oh, and hold on. Senior Don Mike from Montreal. Hey, Montreal. Hey, you doing? I got to get my ass back to Montreal, Canada. There's a lot of wonderful people out there. Great food. Montreal, Canada, boy. I tell you, they, they got an Italian section called Little Italy like they do out here in California and New York. It is absolutely phenomenal. Hey, Gayla. How are you? It's nice to see you. Um, I was talking about the dentist. He's a great dentist. He's coming to the show. We're all going to be a Catch a Rising Star in Princeton, New Jersey on February 15th. Folks, this show is going to sell out. In fact, there's going to be two shows. I bet you any money we sell out both shows. So if you want to come to the show, make sure you go to MikeMarino.net or CatchArisingStar.com and check out what's going on the night after Valentine's Day. It's going to be Valentine's Day celebration with me, Mike Marino. Look, see, Tom the Dentist already said he got uh, 14 VIP tickets. And there's the guy we was just talking about, Gennaro Pastore. Okay, we call him uh, Gary, but his real name is in Italian, Gennaro Pastore. He's always on the show with me. One of the funniest episodes we've ever done here on, on the show, live from my mother's basement. Gary came on the show, and he was dressed like Santa Claus, and he played the whole thing like drunk, bad Santa, and people were laughing their asses off, and we had thousands and thousands of people watching the show, and then afterwards they kept on watching the show and listening to it on iTunes, which is just just unbelievably a great feeling. So Gary Pastore is going to be on the show. He's hosting the show. Like I said, he's a, he just won a big award at the Hell's Kitchen Film Festival in New York City, I believe, over this past weekend. Uh, and uh, it's an honor to have him on my show. It's an honor to be co-starring in the TV series that we just did. Folks, wait till you see this show, Silent Partners, because yours truly is going to show you the serious side of Michael. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you, everybody, for writing in so fast and having so much fun. I can't get to everybody, but it's great to see you. Hi, Vincent. How you doing, everybody? I hope you're having a great time. There's some relatives writing into the show and watching right now. So let me do some gr uh, big shout-outs while we were talking about food and health. Now, I'm going to do my best to watch my health this year. And one of the biggest things I really do need is to watch what I eat. Like, I'm flying out of town tomorrow. I know I'm going to have breakfast at the airport, but I like it. I enjoy it. And who doesn't like having breakfast at the fucking LAX when you want to kill people? Um, I am part of the Grandsons of Italy here in Los Angeles. Me and my friends got together 20 years ago, and we put on the Feast of San Gennaro for the first time ever in Los Angeles on Hollywood Boulevard. And we're thinking about getting together and doing it again. If there's any Italian people in Los Angeles, or you don't even have to be Italian, and you want them to be part of the Grandsons of Italy here in Los Angeles, California, all you have to do is write a letter to info at grandsonsofitaly.com or log on to www.goiia.com. That's grandsonsofitalyinamerica.com www.goiia.com. That is the Grandsons of Italy. There's a whole bunch of guys in there. We're having a lot of fun. We get together once a month, but they do big fundraisers. Now, if I don't know any, I don't know if you know this or not, but in walking distance of this house is a bridge, and underneath that bridge is about 20 to 30 homeless people living in tents. It's horrible. And they live in areas where the people are filthy rich. Yet these people are under the bridge. So listen, folks, why not take a walk in the area 
they're very nice people, and you offer somebody some food. You don't even ask them what they want, and you're going to go get it. Go get it and bring it back. You know what somebody who's hungry wants. A nice Italian sandwich or a pizza or maybe some breakfast. How about coffee? A cup of tea? Uh, clothes, shirts, socks, shoes, sneakers, anything that you got. I do it. I do it all the time. And it makes me feel good about myself. Mike, what do I do to travel too much? This relationship is not working. Mike. What do I do? You try, oh, what do I do? All right, I'm sorry. I had to take a quick minute to read a letter from my uh, compare over here, Gennaro Pastore. Congratulations on everything, Gary. Congratulations. I saw you won Best Actor down there at the Hell's Kitchen Film Festival. I wish I could have been there with you. I'm flying back to New Jersey on February 9, ladies and gentlemen. And on February 10, I'm doing a big fundraiser at... Uh, uh, what the hell's the name of that comedy club? But it's five hundred dollars a ticket. Oops, sorry, somebody's calling into the show and it kind of fucked up my thing. Um, that is the John Bramnick fundraiser, and we're doing it at the Stress Factory. And then on February fifteen, uh, Gennaro Pestori and myself and John Bramnick, and also a female comedian is going to be on the show with us too, Janelle Gata. So, Janelle, if you're out there, thank you so much for being part of what we're about to do. Janelle Gata is going to be on this show. That's February 15, ladies and gentlemen, in Catch a Rising Star in New Jersey. All right. So, it worked. I'm going to get some people to uh, join the Grandsons of Italy, which is really, really great, especially if we can get the Italian guy who owns this deli to come down and join. That would be great, too, because in San Pedro, California, I'm going to be doing a 1,500-seat concert, hopefully in October. I am so lucky. I am so blessed. Tomorrow I go up to San Francisco. I'll be up there for a week entertaining. Then I come back down. While I'm here in California, I will be at the Laugh Factory. I will be at the Ha Ha Comedy Club in North Hollywood, February 9th. Out to New Jersey, bunch of shows from New Jersey on to Florida. And on to the world. You want to know where I'm performing? Go to MikeMarino.net. Subscribe to my newsletter. And also go to my YouTube channel. All right? I want to do another shout out to a great pizza place. This pizza place has been in business for 39 years. It's called Casa de Pizza. House of Pizza. Casa de Pizza. The Giovanelli's original. Casa de Pizza. It's at 1661 South F Mission Boulevard in Granada Hill. So if you're here in California, not only is there a great deli down in Lakewood, but there's a great pizza place owned by Vito and Billy Giovanelli. Hey, can you get any more Italian than that? Vito Giovanelli, and that's in Granada Hills. Go to Casa de Pizza Webs com. That's kind of weird. They've been around since 1961, and you can get out there and have some fun. They asked me if I wanted to come out there and do a show, and I said, doing, doing a comedy show at a pizza place? Thank you so much. I can't wait. Why perform in front of thousands of people in a concert hall when I could stand in front of a pizza joint having some pizza, not even get paid, but I get a meatball sandwich? Can't wait to see you live at the Laugh Factory. Eddie, thank you so much for saying that. Anybody who's watching right now, you want tickets to the Laugh Factory, you want tickets to the Ha Ha Comedy Club, you want tickets to any show that I'm doing, instant message me on any one of these platforms and I will hook you up with tickets in specific areas. I can't do it everywhere, but in specific areas I can. Also, write to me, Mike Marino fans at gmail.com, okay? Mike Marino fans at gmail.com. I will hook you up with discount tickets and to any one of the shows that I'm doing that specifically allow me to do that. Because when we get back to the East Coast, we got some concert halls that we're doing that are huge, especially in May, June, and July, that I can't always get those tickets. Ellie Gates' sister, you coming to Boston? Yes, I'm coming back to Boston. 15th, I'm there. Thank you, Scott. Get tickets right away. It's going to sell out. And I want, wow, there's just way too much. Jesus, we's breeding with Marina. Well, enjoy your pizza with coffee. 
you know, I went out for New Year's Eve with a bunch of friends, and I got to tell you, I had one friend came with me, and uh, it was a little awkward because my eyes were so red. I looked like the monster devil that, uh, that I, I wish I could have been. And uh, it wasn't the greatest night because I was in a lot of pain. Sean Young comes to the show. If you guys remember Sean Young, she's a famous uh, movie star from, from around the world. And uh, she came to the show, and it was just a little bit nutty. So, But anyway, a lot of craziness going on already. And if you guys want to know more about this stuff, please just go to MikeMarino.net. And you'll find out exactly when I'm coming into the area, okay? Now, I do got to get going because I just wanted to do a 30-minute broadcast. And we're right at that 30-minute right now. You can see all my shows live from my mother's basement because they always repeat. Just go to MikeMarino.net. I've got over 120 episodes from around the world. I broadcast here in Los Angeles. I broadcast in New Jersey at the Real House where my, my bar is down there. And I also uh, broadcast around the world while I'm traveling. You've seen me in St. Martin. You've seen me in St. Kitts and St. Thomas in the Caribbean and Cancun. You've seen me in Mexico. You've seen me in Costa Maya. You've seen me in Cuba. And you can keep on doing this. This year we're going to hit Australia, England, and hopefully someplace really fucked up. All right? So don't forget, please go to MikeMarino.net and subscribe. Send me fan mail, MikeMarinoFans at gmail.com. And remember, be nice to each other. This world is just a crazy turmoil. If I do become president of the United States, I swear I'm going to shit I shit you not. I'm going to straighten out everything. When are you coming to Pennsylvania? I'm coming to Pennsylvania. I got six major shows in Pennsylvania. Go to MikeMarino.net. I'm coming to Pennsylvania, Boston, Philadelphia, Staten Island, Long Island, New York, Kentucky, Kansas, it's worldwide. And then I'm going to go out to Australia too. And I'm gonna, I might even be doing a show in Italy. I don't know how they're going to figure that out. But we're going to do it. So folks, I got to get going. Listen, let's make America Italian again. Remember, you don't know nothing, you don't see nothing, you don't say nothing. And how do I end every single one of my broadcasts by always saying the same thing? Don't take no shit from nobody. And I mean that. If you do, call me. I'll come and take care of the problem for you. Hey, folks, I hope you're enjoying watching my podcast live from my mother's basement. We're having a lot of fun, and I'm going to have a lot of great guests on the show in the future. So if you like it, hit like. You could also leave a comment. You could subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch other funny videos. And you could also listen to my podcast on your favorite podcast app like Spotify and iTunes.